the film Rio and shining a light on poaching. Rio, a children's movie from Blue Sky Studios, begins in Brazil, where beautiful blue macaws sing and dance. The main character, Blue, is introduced as a baby before being snatched by poachers. Eventually, he is fortunate enough to escape when his cage falls off the truck and onto the snowy streets of Minnesota. There he meets a girl who finds him and lovingly becomes his owner. Fifteen years later, the girl learns Blue is the last male of his species, and she decides to take him back to Brazil to help repopulate his kind. However, part of the running storyline from this point on is a continuation of poachers seeking Blue because his rarity makes him highly sought out for. However, it is not just Blue Macaws in an animated film being poached. This is a real issue in today's world. Every day, all different types of species are endangered due to poaching. In one statistic, 100 million sharks are killed every year in the process of taking their fins for shark fin soup. Rhinos and elephants are hunted for their ivory tusks, and other animals such as parrots are wanted for an illegal pet trade. Parrots such as blue macaws, sharks, rhinos, elephants, and snow leopards are tracked down and either slaughtered or smuggled by poachers. So, what can we do to stop the innocent killings of endangered species? One opportunity as a whole we could take is to advocate for stricter laws against poaching. Organizations are all over to help preserve these animals and keep them safe. Another idea is providing educational programs across all continents in order to explain the necessity to help protect the animals. Providing statistics and reasons for why poaching is a cruel practice is crucial in beginning to help stop the issue. One can imagine the power of working together if a community is educated on an issue such as animal smuggling and poaching. A whole community can help by raising money by having fundraisers to help the animals. If people live close to the animal's natural habitat, they can help organize and build protective sanctuaries for them. If all else fails, just a continuation to spread awareness about the issue can help an incredible amount. Together, a community can help as people bond together in the name of protecting endangered wildlife. Humans and animals will be together as people help save nature by supporting the animals. With hard work, the ecosystem can be helped tremendously.